All right, so today's problem blog post that I'm gonna put up is um, kind of twofold. One, it uh, is to help out people that had the same problem that I had uh, find, the, find the answer. The solution's actually really easy, but finding that solution was a massive pain in the ass trying to navigate through a bunch of different websites and figure out what to do. And the second one is because I'll forget how I did this in six months. So this will help me uh, uh, help me remember what I did to, to get this specific problem worked out. So, so basically what the issue is, is I have about 15,000 family personal photos that, um, that are hard to look through um, just based on the fact that you have 15,000 pictures from the last 20 or so years. Um, Picasso was a great solution uh, when it was still around because you had basically all your photos could be tagged by faces. So I have a lot of the pictures were already tagged in Picasso, uh, but I'm not on Windows anymore. So Picasso is another one of those really great tools that Google shit on and, and quit supporting and got rid of, uh, even though it was really great for the user. I guess as a business case for them, uh, it was better to move people off into Google Photos on the cloud or whatever the hell they're doing now. So my problem was um, getting that face tag data into a format that I can use now. And it was kind of a twofold problem. Number one, uh, Google basically writes that stuff into an external database in Picasso. It's not actually attached to the file. Uh, so you can do a search. That part of it was easy to find. In Picasso, you go into tools. Um, in one of the settings, you say save face data in with the image. Uh, and then there's a, um, a tool that you use that says write face, faces to XMP files. So what that does uh, is it uh, basically takes the metadata, uh, which is data about data, and dumps it into a location that um, is pretty esoteric. No one, like no image software is actually using uh, a lot of the the fields that Google is for this specific uh, thing. So if you'll notice here, it has XMP, other, and then it's in a region name, and it puts the face data. So in this, you have my son and my daughter, but none of the applications actually are writing or reading from that. Typically for tags, you have it under uh, EXIF data uh, keywords or subject line or something like that, uh, which Picasso is not doing. So it's not very end user friendly for outside of Picasso. And like I said, I'm not using Picasso anymore. Uh, I'm uh, on Linux. Um, so I'm not able to, to really find the pictures I'm looking for. Uh, so I, eventually I found this tool um, by a guy named Phil Harvey, um, I guess in Canada, it looks like it's the EXIF tool. It's a really complicated tool. It does a whole lot of shit. I'm not using 99% of it. Uh, I found one blog post or, or one forum post that he had that met exactly what I was looking for. So that's actually what I'm gonna do today. So in this case, um, we'll take a look at what you actually see in the exit tool. I forgot that file name, so. So basically, EXIF goes through and looks at, this is like a, a verbose version of what it's grabbing, all of the different meta, metadata in here. So what kind of, what kind of camera it was, um, when it was created, just a whole shit ton of information. But specifically what I'm looking for is this one right here this uh, XMP region name that uh, Picasso dumped out the file to. So I wanna take that uh, and actually write it to a tag that uh, another application, um, a normal photo you know, centric application can, can use to do a keyword search by. So um, instead of typing this out, I'm just gonna paste it. So basically we have, we're calling the EXIF tool we're telling the EXIF tool that I want to create this XMP subject 
out of this XMP region name, and then it's a recursive call in this specific directory. So basically it'll go through that directory and look at every JPEG or uh, image file. There's like a jillion different uh, image formats that it uses, but it's gonna look at each of those files. If it has an XMP region name tag, it's gonna write that into XMP subject. So let's go ahead and kick it off. And those warnings that you're seeing right there, those are all for files that didn't have a face tag in it. So it could have been, um, you know, nobody in the picture. It wasn't actually tagged with the face. Um, it did find 47 files to update, um, 74 that, uh, that it wasn't. Um, I'm actually just doing it for one folder right now. This was a test, but I could actually go through and do it at the root directory of my, uh, of my picture folder, and it'll run through all five, 600 folders in there and hit all 15,000 images. That's going to take a little while to run, but um, at that point, I can just walk away and let it do what it's going to do. Uh, so what I'm trying to do now is get to that uh, image folder again so I can show you what has been written. and it actually is still writing the files. I had this uh, issue a little while ago when it was trying to, uh, there we go, all right. So here's the same picture. We'll go to properties to look at the metadata. And as you'll see, now we have keywords that are searchable within, um, within my image application. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up shot well here which is the one that i'm using so previously I, i've had no named tags um, but i can go in and, and pick let's say i'm picking my son and all the pictures that have been tagged and updated uh, with the exif tool um, i can click on it and get all of those pictures so as you can see i've only done one directory right now as a test run uh, but now I'll be able to go through and run this on the rest of the uh, the rest of the application, the rest of the pictures, and and make it uh, uh, easier to find what I'm looking for. So we'll take a look at that specific file again, and you'll see that um, the region name is still there. It basically just copied it into a subject line, and that subject line is a field that's read by all of these other um, software catalog uh, systems. So. Um, Again, this is the EXIF tool by Phil Harvey. Here's the web address where you can get that. Definitely recommend it if you need to um, do some cleanups of uh, metadata. It looks like it does, like I said, a, a whole ton of other stuff, renaming files, organizing. Um, it's a, a bit daunting when you take a look at it, uh, but uh, the forum looked like had a lot of uh, people on it that would help you out for your specific needs. So take a look. Thanks.